The largest of them is Datatech, which is a global ICT solutions and services group which operates under the brand names Westcon. If you've driven close up to the Mall of Africa on the other side of the highway out there near the Allendale off-ramp, you can see their new local operational headquarters. Logicalis is the other part of the business and then there are a couple of additional businesses in there as well that operate more in the consulting arena. So these guys are globally one of Cisco's largest partners so they tend to be people that do hardware infrastructure development but of course they have broadened that into a largely sort of software as a service and IT as a service type environment with lots of retaining income as well headquartered here but the CEO Jens Montanano who owns about 8% of the company is located in London as far as I know. Market capitalization 8.6 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio 7.25. Wow that's quite low. Dividend yield of 5.16. Trading update indicated they're going to sort of hold that dividend but it's been a little bit tough for them lately. Yeah it's been a really tough uh, trading environment for them. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately with the strength of the US dollar and earning uh, revenues in emerging markets. Right. And I see where you're going with this. Uh, mm. We're going to talk about Angola and unfortunately there were some currency so, headwinds. Yeah, what was that all about? Was that say, did they take a loss in Angola due to some contracts that crashed or what? Part of it, uh, but they also couldn't repatriate. Um, I think it's in the region of about $8 million. Uh, so mm. I think the market uh, didn't take too favorably to that and, and the share price has been under pressure. But this is a big group. I mean, they've got multi-billion dollar revenues. Obviously margins are fairly uh, tight on this kind of work because it's very competitive. And a lot of the work is about, you know, kind of installing systems where you take a margin base for kind of uh, doing the actual implementation and integration. That's right. So you need those big projects to come through. Mm -hmm. um, they don't come through that often. Um, and you do, and you are quite reliant um, on these data centers um, mm -hmm. and in getting that infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, installed. Let's have a look at the share chart because when we say it's been a bit of a tough time, you can see that. Uh, it you know, did very well during 2012, 2013. The dollar earnings were doing well. Westcon particularly expanding globally, showing its metal in new regions like Latin America. And look at that, it goes to about 75 rands a share. But it came tumbling down very precipitously. And I guess that was results based. It was a results disappointment, the Angolan thing you're talking about. So yeah. what happens next? I mean, it's sort of forming a base. This trading update didn't look all that rosy. They basically showed that revenue will be sort of somewhat similar to 2015 as will their, their board's intention is to hold the dividend. Yes, but I think the, the, what the market is doing is looking at the margin. Um, and mm. as you mentioned, it's very, very thin margins. Mm. Um, so they really need to start looking for those contracts mm. where you can have higher margin businesses. Mm. And we know that corporate spending generally in IT is one of the sort of preferred areas, but still, but still many corporates globally and the kind of people they're looking for as clients, which are big ticket type spenders, are being very judicious about their capital spending at this time. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pressure yeah. uh, on those big corporates. And unfortunately, if you are in the distribution space um, and you don't have that mm. uh, annuity type of income mm. that you can get from the software development side, mm. um, this is what, what can happen. Yeah. Okay, so how are we going to call this one? Hot or not? I mean, um, that share chart reflects some damage, a very low price to earnings ratio. So if you thought there was some sort of turnaround coming, but it's a little bit tricky to know exactly what their billings look like. That's it. Wait for the full results, go into the detail, maybe make a call then, but I for now. I'd prefer to be patient and mm. wait. I think you can mm. wait. Um, I don't think there's any rush to go out and buy the stock right yeah. now. Yeah, so we're going to go not hot on that one. Well, not.